Hi, my name is Mark Friedman here at Friedman Dentistry. Uh, Dr. Matt Friedman and I have just taken possession of a Euro Plus Comfort Mirror System. What this is, is it's actually a self-cleaning mirror system where whether you're working on a microscope as we are or whether you're just doing routine dentistry with magnification, you know one of the most frustrating things is when that mirror has even a little droplet of water especially at 6x or when we're working at 16 or 18x, we can see nothing. And so what this system does is it enhances your dental auxiliary's ability to keep the mirror clean because of a mechanical air system that automatically keeps it clean. We've just installed it in our Plan Mecca compact eye unit um, and it took about 10 minutes to do that. Cut into the air line that goes under the doctor's side, run a small spaghetti tube, they even have a plan mecha hanger and they've got other adaptations for other units as well. And so it's right there ready to go. We're going to try it right now. So in today's world of dentistry with high level magnification, vision is the name of the game. And to have good ergonomics, to sit at 12 o'clock position and really work efficiently, ergonomically, head tilt between 12 and 20 degrees, everything in neutral, you really need to have good vision in your mirror because without a clean mirror you know we stop everything comes to a halt and so for ergonomics for quality of dentistry for your patient for comfort for reduced stress you need to be able to see and so this system is really well designed you can see that it has a sterilizable handle it's magnetized to go onto the airport very very lightweight silicone tube which isn't going to give you any pullback at all and once that's just coupled, it clicks into place. And they have a number of different size mirror heads. So you can access really a small mirror all the way up to something standard like this size here. And what happens is air pressure comes out of this tubing once you activate the on for the airport. And there's a switch at the bottom. Jessica, you can down and see this. So there's a switch down here at the bottom that I would activate, turning the air pressure on. And once that switch is activated, you have an adjustment to adjust air pressure. So you can either have minimum pressure or you can have a lot of pressure depending upon whether you're creating a large spray or minimum water spray. One of the um, important things, of course, is to have adequate water when you're working, especially on a vital tooth. And I think many dentists have a tendency to cut their water down, uh, especially in the U.S. I've seen that because they just can't see what they're doing. We know that's counterproductive. It, it allows the instruments to clog. So now there's more friction, of course, that's not good for efficiency in cutting. More importantly, for a vital tooth, it's a problem in terms of raising the potential for raising intrapulpal uh, temperature and uh, possibly causing damage to the pulp and, and pulp of death. So there's a huge number of advantages being able to see when you're working underwater, which is basically what this does. And this tiny slit causes a laminar airflow to shoot across the mirror and keep that mirror clear. These are really high quality surface mirrors and they even have a system for putting the mirror away so that it doesn't get scratched during disinfection and autoclaving. So I think it's a well thought out system but I guess the proof's in the pudding. We're gonna try it here in just a moment. But let me just show you macroscopically a little bit how it works. So here we're gonna go ahead and turn the mirror on. I've got it on fairly low pressure. Let me turn it up just a little bit. And we'll take our three-way syringe, and Jessica, if you could just zoom in on, on that mirror. Can you see it pretty tight? We'll take our three-way syringe, and we'll just squirt a little water on the syringe. And you can see that the water doesn't stay on the syringe even for a nanosecond. So what we're really talking about now is a system that keeps that mirror perfectly clean and clear at all times. Whether you've got a hand piece spray, whether it's saliva, you're keeping that laminar flow. And because you're not getting any moisture staying on that mirror, then it's not going to dry on there and end up giving you spots. So that mirror should stay spot free for the entire clinical procedure. Really very ingenious system and one that I can't wait to try. So we're going to go on high magnification and just show it to you on video magnification, you can really see it up close.
So here we are at, uh, let's see, we're at six magnification. And we'll go ahead and squirt a little water on our mirror. And you really, you really don't get any water staying on that mirror, no matter whether it's a, a stream or it's a spray. Look, look how it doesn't even... You can't even really get that very clean. You actually see the water coming off the three-way syringe. That's kind of scary. I mean, we don't get really dry right away. See how long it takes. Mm -hmm. The problem is that three-way syringe has some water in the line, so it takes a moment. I mean, it can be done, but of course it's not continuous. Because you're using the two-way syringe for other things, like to keep the tooth dry. So it's tooth mirror, tooth mirror. In the meantime, for every moment that the mirror isn't dry, I can't see. Surface. They've come up with these little mirror protectors, these little um, mirror covers. So you put the mirror in the cover, it clicks in place. You can actually see the size of the mirror, so this is a number two. So you could either put the handle and the number two mirror in a bag by itself, or they've even got a, um, a little rack. So you could rack a number of these together. So you wouldn't necessarily have to sterilize the mirror and the handle together, although that might be convenient. Um, and that way, if you needed to, you have a handle, you can grab your mirrors, they could go in a larger bag, you can have a, a series of those so that you can get the mirror size that you want, and the handle fits all the different sized mirrors. It's, um, it's neat, it's clean, it's complete. Uh, we're excited to use it. First thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna use it in a clinical case and we'll show you the video. Um, but it, it, looks, it looks very slick.